Our dear and loving Father, you are loved by us so much. Your caring ways brings us a sense of protection. And the guidance and love you give makes us so happy. Our dear and loving Father, you are loved so very much. You mean the whole wide world and more to us. We are so proud to be your children. Our dear and loving Father, you are loved by us so much. Your caring ways brings us a sense of protection. And the guidance and love you give makes us so happy. Our dear and loving Father, you are loved so very much. You mean the whole wide world and more to us. We are so proud to be your children. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Father's Day show. Yes, welcome, everyone. Yes, mm -hmm. happy Father's Day to all the wonderful fathers out there. And Ella, let's just start off with a lovely prayer. Oh, yes, I have a very nice prayer to our guardian, to our guardian angel. And, well, we all believe in guardian angels, all yes, of us. We yeah. do. Yes, we do. And so this is from the Father Peel's Prayer Book. So right. here we go. Prayer to our guardian angel. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, even this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. So protect all our fathers. Yes, yeah, definitely. guardian angel. Well, I have another prayer too, and this is a prayer for Christian fathers, and it says, Heavenly Father, you entrusted your son Jesus the child of Mary, to the care of Joseph, an earthly father. Bless all fathers as they care for their families. Give them strength and wisdom, tenderness and patience. Support them in the work that they have to do, protecting those who look to them. As we look to you for love and salvation, through Jesus Christ, our rock and defender. And this is from Christianity.com website. So just now brings yes. us to our next segment. Beautiful prayer, Mary. In honor of all the dads out there, yes. since I, we are celebrating Father's Day, well, yes. a little early, yes. Yes. but uh, yeah. we are drinking what, Mary, today? Beer! Yeah. <laughs> beer, beer, beer! So here's to you, Dad! All the, the guys, guys. All, all the men that I know, they like drinking beer, but... Uh, my oh. husband likes root beer. Root? Oh, oh mine, mine does too, but yeah. he also likes this kind of beer. There we go. go. I like it. It's nice to flush out the kidneys once in a great while. So, happy Father's happy Day, everyone! Father's Day. Here we go! Yeah. My favorite beer! Mmm. Okay. <laughs> this is light beer. I you can tell I'm not a beer person, but yeah. that's okay. I, I with pizza, I, it's good. I yeah, with pizza. Cold or, pizza in the or morning. Or cheeseburgers <laughs> or hot dogs. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very so good. We so we got it. And beer. that's almonds, so we have it with almonds. But yes, so Ella sweet. brought a cute little snack Since here. Mary, I like these little windows. Oh, those, those are so good. good. Those are all a Trader Joe. Trader yeah. Joe's yeah. almond yeah. Windmill, uh, windmill. Uh, and these are so so good. I love those cookies. Yum. And um, they're, 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 to me, they're like the most delicious ones over there, Trader Joe's. I love shopping at Trader Joe's. Oh, very, very good. Yeah. Uh, and so, and those are almond, those are the coconut almond chocolates right there. Mary. Very so healthy. Yeah. You know, nuts. my husband loves nuts. And we all know that I'm the nut here too. Oh, I but if I'm going to have a nut, I want some chocolate on it. Oh, yeah, chocolate covered. Got chocolate on Chocolate there. covered. That's what I like. Yeah. Yes. So that's right, Kira, man. I like chocolate. We're going to sweeten this beer a little bit with chocolate. <laughs> yeah. And you know, everybody, it's healthy. It's dark oh, chocolate. Yeah, so dark chocolate. <laughs> mm, yum. No, this is more my mm -hmm. thing. Not the beer, mm -hmm. but the nuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh, you're right, everybody. Let's now bring us to the next segment. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Welcome to our conversation starters. <laughs> so, Ella, I have a couple questions here yes. for you. Mm -hmm. 
And my first question is, what would have been your father's absolute dream job? Well, my dad was so very friendly. He had tons of friends and all his family members loved him. Even my mother's side loved him too. So I would say that I lost him when I was 10 years old, but from what I hear is that my dad was the best peacemaker ever. Whenever somebody was upset with somebody, he knew exactly what to say to get them to be friends again. So well, you know a what? counselor, I would say. He would make a great counselor. With all that's, that's happening in the world, we could use your father. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, need that yeah he really, oh yes, we definitely do. We want world peace. World peace. Well, my father's dream job would be when he was younger, he, mm. he used to love to play baseball. And he mm. used to like the way he used to steal those bases. Mm. And my father was, he was on the shore side of my dad, believe it or not, because I am a tall gal. I'm just taking after mom. Mm. But um, my dad, my dad had the nickname as being streaky. Mm. That they call like a streak of light, you know, streak. Oh, yeah. streak of and he did have the opportunity to play pro, but Ooh. it just didn't work out. Well, he decided to marry your mom and have a family. Yes, he did. Well, yeah, yeah that was a good choice. That's for sure. Yeah, at least he did, sure. didn't suffer any injuries. That's for sure. Oh, That's yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right. So my next question for you is, mm -hmm. what would be the title of your dad's autobiography? That's an easy one, Mary. My fam, my father absolutely loved us. He loved his family. Well, so I would say, too. love my family. That's probably what would be his the title. Oh, that's sweet. Love my family. Aww. Well, he loved his friends too. Mm -hmm. We're all our wonderful dads. All yeah, there. they're all they all love their families. They all work yeah. so hard. We appreciate you, dads. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Um, I was not really all that lucky because I lost my dad when he when I was only 10 years old and mm -hmm. it was because of a drunk driver. You do know that, Mary. Yeah. But when I was about, this album is about half a year from now. It's going to be half a century old, 50 years old. Wow. And I was missing my dad so much that when I went shopping with my brother, it was like one of those, like, that's CVS or Walgreens, something like a store like that. Yeah. And uh, they had all these albums, and I spotted this one, and I bought it right away. Look at this. Father spending quality time Isn't with his daughter. Sweet? Isn't reading. that sweet? Reading. Sweet. Yeah, so sweet. And then I placed all my dad's pictures in there, and I have it to this day. Very, very yeah. nice. What was something courageous you've seen your dad do? Well, that's a very easy question. My dad, he didn't become a baseball player, but he mm. became a firefighter. Yes. And he was on the fire department for like 40 plus years. And um, there's been a few times in which dad actually almost lost his life. Oh. And thank goodness the dear Lord protected yeah. him. But uh, yeah. he saved quite a few lives. You know, uh, he didn't get hurt. Me too. I, yeah. I, I, I thought he was. Yay to all the firemen out there and police officers. Yes. Yeah. What was your favorite car that your father owned? Whoa, favorite. Well, his favorite. his favorite car would have been the 65 Rambler. But oh. I hate to say it, but it was a piece of junk. You had to like jiggle things in order to make it going. But my favorite car when we were growing up was a station wagon. It was a 69 station 60s, wagon. Just like the Brady Bunch. Just like the Brady oh. Bunch. And whenever we used to go on vacations, we all used to fight for that third seat. You know, the seat that you're riding backwards in. Oh. <laughs> and uh, it was just the sweet yeah. memories we had yeah. in the station wagon going on vacation. This yeah. now brings us to our next segment. Mm -hmm. We we're just talking about the TV shows, so the dads, the terrific dads in some oh, of the shows. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, and I was also discussing it with my husband, and and some of the shows I haven't seen because we're married, I was sixties babies. Yes. So, so he was talking about Ozzy and Harriet, and oh, I said I've never yeah. seen that show. My three sons. Oh well, that's the sixties. That yeah. one I know. Yes, but yes. but there's another oh. one. My husband said. Father Knows Best, and oh, that's a 60s, uh, I mean 50s show, Father wow, Knows Best. Wow. So I haven't seen it, so he tells me that I can I can watch the, the shows now with all the different, uh, yeah. they have the... Uh, you all think of those DVD sets yeah, or whatever. DVDs. Yeah, DVDs. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and you know, they have them on Hulu, Hulu, Peacock, 
Oh, oh Netflix, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, 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 so you can just do that. So, so I need to uh, take a look at that show, Father's no Knows Best. Did you ever see that? Nope, I never, I never did. did I never did and either. And then there's a little bit. I think a little bit of him. He's a fifties baby. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's the reason why his mom was probably his watching mom, it. Probably. Yeah. 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 And but anyway, so can you think of any other dads, TV dads that were terrific? One of dads? my favorite shows, The Brady Bunch. Oh, I like that Brady Bunch. He Mike was a terrific. Brady. Yeah. Oh, he was a great dad. What, yeah. what was his name? There's Mike Brady. Mike. Uh, yeah, Mike Brady. That's yes, it. Yes. But yes. you know, I all know that I like Bonanza. So Bonanza. So Ben. Carhartt was a good dad too. Remember, I I was telling you about Adam. And now, cameraman men mentioned another another one. Cameraman, my husband likes that one. All the, the family. Dad. You have, no, not that one. That's a good one too. But leave it to be. My brother Ed. Uh huh. Uh, it's funny when he was growing up, he looked exactly like Beaver. Really? He was my brother. Well, Eddie was a really the cute young kid. kid. Oh he was a my kid. gosh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and there's also my three sons. Now That's that right. show, I know. My three sons. Yeah, yeah. remember that song? Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, I remember those, those shoes, songs. Those I shoes like at the those, beginning of the show. I like those theme songs. They're really, yeah, really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have the Partridge family, and there's a different theme song, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I think I watched but Brady Shirley, Bunch. But Shirley most. Jones played the part of both mom and dad. Oh, yeah, 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 she did, yeah. 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 But, um, but I love that show. How about Mary, my friend? I was talking to my friend about it, and she said that she really liked the, uh, the King of Queens Oh. Well, father. That's oh. Kelly's father, Arthur. Arthur? Yes, like he makes the show. I mean, yeah, but yeah. He, he was funny. <laughs> oh yeah, and and so Carrie's dad. So now there, there that's the. Uh, There's our dads. <laughs> All right, well, okay. that just brings us to our next yeah. one. Take care. Hi everybody, and welcome to the arts and crafts portion of our Father's Day show. And trying to find something to do for our arts and crafts, you know, something that you can do with the kids for dear old dad. I was thinking, let's make coasters. I found these wooden coasters at Hobby Lobby. And you can guess what we're going to do. We're going to paint them. And by painting them, I decided let's do a nice blue, I guess you can say theme here. You know, all these different shades of blue, everybody, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to use the handy dandy sponge here and we're going to just like, you know, dip the paint and just put it on. And then we're going to finish off the coasters with some shellac. So I'm going to get going here and we'll see you in a few moments. So as you can see, I painted the bottom of the coaster just plain. And for the top of the coaster, I just... um went lightly with the sponge and I'm going to be doing the same with all the other different colors of blue. So we'll see you in the next step. And this is the next shade of blue and we're going to just keep on going and the next time you see me we'll be done painting and then we'll get ready for our shellacking. So these are the painted coasters and now we're going to just let these dry and after they dry we're going to do the shellacking and then you'll see the finished product. Now we have the shellac. And with the shellac, all you just have to do is you spray it, but you do quick little squirts, like, like that. So I'm gonna continue spraying, and then we'll see the finished product after it dries. So now the coasters are nice and shiny, and now you'll be able to put a glass on without wearing out the paint. That's the main reason for the varnish. And now I just wrapped it up with the cord that the coasters came in. And it's ready for dad as a nice gift from the kids. And now for the next segment. So for your Father's Day meal, you can always make a nice uh, seafood uh, meal. Um, if you can see, I got the asparagus right here, salted and buttered olive oil. I am going to be making two fillets of fish right there. So for the topping, this is what I'm going to do. Medium sized onions. So I'm using, I'm using only about quarter, quarter of an onion. So I'm going to chop it up. Well, probably mince it, mince it, mince it. 
And then I will mix it in with mayonnaise and sour cream. Okay, so I already have the uh, quarter of an onion all chopped up, well, half chopped, half minced. And now for two fillets of fish, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of mayonnaise and two tablespoons of sour cream. Okay, and now I'm gonna mix it all in and add and add all the chopped, well minced, a half and a half is uh, So now I'm gonna mix it all in just like that. And this is optional lemon juice. Now, I don't care for too much lemon juice on my uh, my fillet of fish, but my husband likes it, so I'm just gonna put a little sprinkle, a little bit on his. And these two fillets of cod are all done, all baked. For 20 minutes, I baked it, and, uh, and the oven was set at 400, preheated, of course. And all these asparagus are also done. And this is the finished product. Cod, I love the taste of cod. Mashed potatoes sprinkled sprinkled with dill weed and asparagus. This really makes a splendid Father's Day meal. So enjoy, I can hardly wait to dig in. Happy Father's Day. Smachnego, bon appetit. And these are our last words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. A father's smile has been known to light up a child's entire day. And this is by Susan Gale. And my father, one thing about my father, he loved to smile. He had such a beautiful smile. And my mom, too. They were both smilers. <laughs> Very good. Very yeah. good. Mm -hmm. And my pro is a son's first hero, a daughter's first love. Oh. And this is from Unknown. Oh, that's a beautiful so quote. Happy Father's Day to all you yes. wonderful dads, cameraman. You mm -hmm. rock. I love you. Yes, and my husband. Yes, and, he's, uh, and my son now. He's a dad, too. Yes, uh, so, yeah. Right Take care, Take all that. Take care, and God yeah. bless, and happy Father's Day. Oh, yes. Take day. care. Stay safe, and enjoy this very special day. Yes. Father's Day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Remember, God loves you. We can't. Thank you enough for taking good